Hi everyone! Uterpy Music is the Key is thrilled to present a half hour film dedicated to music written for movies. This is one of a series of music education performance videos presented in both English and French by Uterpy Music is the Key. The fabulous performers and musical instruments you'll see and hear in this video are. Hi, my name is Catherine and I play the piano. Hello, my name is Eisel and I play the violin. Hi, my name is Norman. And I play the viola. Hello, my name's Liza. I play the cello. Hi, my name's George, and I play the bass. Hi, I'm Allison, and my instrument is the alto saxophone. Hi, my name is Alex, and I play the trumpet. Hi, I am Juan. My instrument is the percussion. Our fantastic band will play four contrasting pieces from four very different movies, each written by a different composer. What is a composer? Well, composers are people who have musical melodies, musical notes and musical ideas swirling around in their minds and hearts, and they write their musical ideas on paper so that performers like us can play the music and bring the composer's musical ideas to life for everyone to enjoy. When movies came into existence, they were called silent movies because they had no talking. The music for silent movies was often performed live in the actual movie theater, usually by a piano player or an organist. It wasn't until after 1915 that movies had what is called a musical soundtrack. Sir Charles Chaplin, known as Charlie Chaplin, was an English comic actor, filmmaker, and composer who rose to fame in the era of silent films. He's considered to be one of the film industry's most important figures. Chaplin wrote, directed, produced, edited, starred in, and composed the music for most of his films. He understood the connection of music and emotion, and his music has a powerful effect, even without words. A great example of this is the heartbreaking song Smile, from his 1936 film Modern Times. Smile has been recorded numerous times by many great artists.
Harold Arlen was an American composer of popular music. He composed over 500 songs, many of which have become known worldwide. One of his most famous songs is Over the Rainbow, which he composed for the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz. The lyrics or words for Over the Rainbow were written by Yip Harburg. In this piece, you'll hear the band improvise or make up the music based on the melody that the composer wrote. Improvising is a very important part of jazz music making. American composer Richard Rogers and lyricist Oscar Hammerstein wrote the music and lyrics for many musicals in the 1940s and 50s. Some of Rogers and Hammerstein's big hits include Oklahoma, Carousel, South Pacific, The King and I, and The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music was their last work together. It opened in New York City on Broadway in 1959 and it was made into one of the most famous movies of all time in 1965. The song Edelweiss from The Sound of Music is named after the flower Edelweiss, a white flower found high in the Austrian mountains called the Alps. Edelweiss was the last song that Rogers and Hammerstein wrote together.
The German composer Klaus Bedelt wrote the music for the 2003 hit film Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. It's one of his most famous and popular musical scores. The theme song is called He's a Pirate. The music has references to Irish shanties, which are songs sung by sailors and pirates as they sailed the seven seas. The word shanty is derived from the French word chanter, which means to sing. The pulsing rhythms match the action and adventure of the life of a pirate, in this case, Pirate Jack Sparrow. Music was just something that 
I just loved and it was a passion of mine. When I went on a drum set, it just kind of made sense. My name is Adrian Bent. I'm a drummer and a composer. Most of the time when I'm performing on stage, it's hip hop, R&B, soul. Being on stage, it's, it's no other feeling. It's just humbling being able to play for people. It's just a beautiful feeling to be honest. Seeing someone at a high level perform is only going to make you want to get better. It inspires those kids to be like, hey, I want to be able to spread joy and love through music. I can hopefully get to that level one day. When you see a performer live in person, you get to speak to them, you get to ask them questions. It makes such a huge difference. And I find with Euterpe, when they're doing their thing, there's that human connection that makes them feel like, hey, maybe I can learn this or maybe I can do this. Euterpe's music education performance programs are so inspirational for children. With classical music, I find there's a certain like intricacy that comes with it. So you're hearing the cello, you're hearing the violas, you're hearing the violin. Your mind has to be able to break apart, okay, what are these things doing? As a composer, as a producer, it really opened up my ears and, and world to just a different style of music. Having music definitely grounds you, gives you a sense of discipline. And if you have that from a young age, just helps you propel throughout life. I'm still in the studio doing what I love. It's kind of like my outlet, my hobby, my job, my getaway. For me personally, it's more so, how can I be the best version of myself? I just try my best to always compose knowing that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So as long as you're trying your best and, and making strides every single day to get better, that's all that really matters. We hope you had fun and that you enjoyed learning a little bit about music written for movies and hearing this beautiful music played by our world-class performers. Check out the other videos in our series and learn more at musicisthekey.org.